Fine. Today we're going to talk about one of the most dreaded things across the countries. Speeding cobras. That's right, now cobras us know how to use ranged attacks. Only a matter of time before they get legs. So speeding cobras, yes, speeding cobras. Snakes, especially cobras, are very aggressive already. I'm pretty sure everyone knows this, but just for those who don't know what a cobra looks like, and to distinguish cobras from other species, cobras have the iconic snake hood. It's a structure of bone that expands when the cobra tra uh, is trying to look intimidating. King cobras are, are the most aggressive of cobras and the most and one of the most poisonous. King cobras can be, and are pretty big and have a poisonous bite that can kill a human in under five minutes. Its fangs are long and can easily pierce human skin. It's also a very aggressive species. It doesn't like to be you know, disturbed in, its, in where it lives. So if you ever spot a king cobra, try not to run as they can, they could catch up to you if you run a bit slow. Try to back away slowly and keep a distance between you and the snake. And don't climb tree. Cobras can, cobras can climb trees. Try to back away, and when you reach a far enough distance, about like five feet, run. Yeah, that's the best option. But spinning cobras are a whole different story. If you wander into a spitting cobra's territory. They look like normal cobra, so it's hard to distinguish. Once you realize what looks in that mouth, yeah, you're kind of done for. Spitting cobras have special glands in their mouth that spit venom up to two to three feet. It, that's blast venom, like a stream of venom. It's not very dangerous if it lands on your skin, but you should still get medical issues. When you do get blasted at, cover your face. Cobra, spitting cobras have incredible accuracy. They're like the Hawkeye of the snake egg world. They never miss a shot. So try to block your, try to cover your face with your hands to prevent it going to your eyes, nose, or mouth. Try to block cover and if it does get on your hand wipe it off as fast as you can and head to a medical facility or hospital or really anywhere anywhere that can help you not to a theme park anyways spitting cobras also can a bit quick also so you can also get bit but i don't really see the reason why they need bite but they can actually have a venomous bite also so yes, nature armed cobras are basically one of the most deadliest weapons ever in the animal kingdom. It's basically like combining a cobra with an archer fish combined together. It's basically like that. They can't, and so try to keep a distance from cobras. As spinning cobras us can easily hit you if you're far away. If, even if you're far away. So never make sudden moves. Back away slowly from the spinning cobra. So you don't get blasted. This time don't run. Go back slowly, 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 slowly. The snake will not probably try to mess with you but if you are you find yourself in the middle of the territory it will attack the venom stream can easily hit you if you, if you block it the second before or even if you try to block it make sure to make sure your hands are closed as the venom streams are thin enough to go through the gaps of your or palm so try to do this and block your eyes and don't speak, don't make any sounds, sudden movements, or anything. Stand still 
and slowly tiptoe back if you find yourself in its territory. It probably won't mess with you, but if it does, head to a hospital as fast as you can if you get bit or if you sprayed. Even if it's just like on your hand, even if it's like a thin stream on your hand, just run to a hospital. This venom is very potent and can kill a human. Now, spitting cobras, if you have a pet mongoose, I know it's kind of hard to get pet mongooses. Okay, I'm sure some of you, some of you have seen videos of mongooses fighting cobras. And those lucky ones out there who've actually seen it in reality know that mongooses are very tough. Those fur balls, they might look adorable like little weasel, like little harmless weasels. They have anti-venoms and are pretty and are very powerful. As uh, you can, if, if you watch one of those videos, you can see the cobra rearing up, ready to strike. But the mongoose, and when it does, uh, but the mongoose is dodging it. It's like dodging it, like left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. It's like dancing, kind of. It's like Okay, imagine yourself dancing with a sword trying to, with a sword with poison on the tip, trying to pierce you with the head. And it's on top of a, and it's on top of a snake body. Try, try imagining that. Yeah, and you're just do dodging and weaving and back flipping over everything. Yeah, and when a mongoose does get bit, it has an anti-venom. It's not really an anti-venom, as I know some of you might be thinking, anti-venom? That means it has a snake killer in its body? Trust me, it's not that case. It's not a case like that. Its blood has a certain immunity to venom. But, the reason why the mongoose doesn't just, like, walk in there all of invincible style, just, like, be like, eh, to the snake, is because if it gets bit more than one time, it can die. Its anti-venom is almost, is very, how to say, it's not limited. But it is not too big of an amount. That means a cobra can take a mongoose down with two bites or three, depending on the mongoose's age, size, and anti-venom power. Certain mongooses have stronger anti-venoms than others. So like cobras, wouldn't mess with a mongoose. So if you do have a pet mongoose, that's good for you. So it wouldn't mess with you unless you're alone, of course. Because okay. uh, they won't mess with the mongooses because mongooses are actually very skilled. They will dodge, weave, dodge, weave, dodge, weave. Then when the cobra gets tired, it will snap. It will just like go to the throat and get, rip it apart and start eating this thing, really. But sometimes mongooses, I know you guys may think, ooh, the mongoose is a hero, yay. But sometimes the snake is just minding its own business and the mongoose attacks. Like, it just mind, it's just slithering around. Oh, it's just slithering around its territory and the mongoose just jumps in and attacks. I know some of us may be thinking, scaly reptile bad, mongoose good. But that can switch also. Because sometimes the snake minds its own business and mongooses just attack. It's not because they are hungry. There's plenty of things to eat. Like seriously, there's frogs. Mongooses normally eat small things since they can't really hunt down anything too big. But they don't really necessarily need to hunt cobras. Cobras won't attack mongooses. There's also, unless it's their last resort. Cobra's venom is potent enough to kill an, one elephant. That's right, an elephant. Fully grown male bull elephant can be taken down by one, by, well, a cobra bite. Mongooses have very strong anti-venom to resist something like that, but it can still kill them. But cobras don't really hunt. How to say, if cobras won't really hunt anything big. They mostly mind their own business, really. 
they hunt frogs, frogs, mice, small stuff really, rodents, not snakes, I feel like rodents, without snakes, the mice population will increase and everything and it will eat everything. That's why with snake, that's why among, we need snakes to keep the rodents under control. We also need snakes to keep the frog population under control. With, because more frogs, more insects gone. Now that might sound good, but more frogs, more bees gone, more bees gone, less honey gone, less honey, and less honey, less, less, less delicious tasting liquid in my mouth. Yes, that's true. Okay, so they keep two populations under control. They also keep poison toad populations under control. Poison toad, you can already see what's going on. So, yeah, co it's not, cobras aren't bad, but they're not really, I wouldn't say they're not good. Some cobras are good. Just, if you see a cobra, back up, and if it does bite you, run to a hospital. Actually, don't run to a hospital, because that might trigger... Basically, also, something really important. Do not use a tonic, a tourniquet. That thing where you put a stick and bandage it, don't use that, it's bad. Use a pressure bandage and learn how, how to pull tie it. Basically, go around your leg, go around your leg again, the entire body. If you get bitten on your leg, cover your entire leg. If you get bitten on your other leg, cover your entire leg. If you get bitten by your arm, you can already guess, cover your entire arm. That even means, yes, if you get bit on the face. Get bit on the face, cover every part by your eyes as you still need that to see and your nose also because you need that to breathe. Basically, stay away from certain snakes. They don't want to bite you, but if they do, they will. And just like, don't bother, don't wander into snake territories. If you know you're in snake territory, try to... Try to get out of snake territory and go some other way for your adventures. Okay, that's all for me. Make sure to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll always know when I post a new video. Bye!